This is your buddy Polo Crow here with his buddy Bear Pigman. How's it going, guys? And tonight we have quite a treat for you guys. Um, I managed to steal some top secret high tech CDs from a shady government agency, and we're going to show them off for you. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, y you may have heard about the X-Files reboot. We're, we're pretty much episode one of that. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you guys are into, like, your Xbox Ones and your PlayStation 4s and all that kind of stuff, but here, we're just kind of, kind of, open up a time capsule, if you will. And, uh, this is the first, uh, demo CD from official PlayStation, what was it? Official U.S. PlayStation magazine. Back when, yep, uh, this one is almost identical to a um, to a demo disc that I got when I actually got my PlayStation One that had Intelligent Cube and Parappa on it. <laughs> so let's start off with an old favorite of mine. Pretty simple. A lot oh people, man, I love messing with this. A lot of people think that Crash Bandicoot was the PlayStation's de facto mascot. Not true. Oh no. That was Parappa. I forget if you could do it in the demo or not, but I just, like, I remember messing with the stage so much just by just, like, jamming the hell out of, like, punch. Oh, And, I like, try. this is the first stage where I kind of realized that you could do, like, you know, uh, the freestyle section and the cool section. Mm -hmm. Actually, these settings I have are pretty nice because I tried this earlier and it did not look this good. Mm-hmm. Mash the hell of that button, man. <laughs> Alright, yeah, they won't let you do it in your first time playing the stage, but once you beat it, you can, like, mash the hell out of it and go right up to cool, which lets you do, uh, freestyle. It might be in the demo. Mm, no, you would have gotten it by now. Man, this was so cool when we first saw it. I remember, like, when I first got this, my my folks were initially like, Are you sure you want to get this game? You don't really like rap. And I'm like, I, this is not rap. <laughs> Parappa is a rapper in the same way, um... Oh, what am I trying to say? Like Fred Durst was a rapper. <laughs> in name alone. Yeah. And of course, now I fucking love rap, so... I'm not a fan of rap, but I like Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. The final so uh, song for this is, like, one of my favorites just in fucking general. Gotta believe. Man, this is really lenient. Yeah, um, well, because the next couple of days get, like, hard as hell. But this one, you can just like fucking just mash on it, and you'll be fine. Oh, it wasn't fine there. I just <laughs> my favorite stuff is just doing stuff like that. Punch! Good job, Parappa. You can go on to the next stage now. I would just hate getting to like the last line of the song and messing up. And it's like, oh well, can't do that again. Yeah. So that's the demo, but we're gonna try to fuck things up this time. Yeah, let's see if you can, uh, let's see if it lets you do the, um... Let's get into freestyle mode. I'm just gonna jam the fuck on it. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I kind of love that. Um, apparently that, like, Onion Ninja shows up in, like, half the other stages, like... There's, like, some secret, uh, in this, um... I love that, the little duck sound. Whoa, what the hell is going on with this guy? His face is all weird. He's tired. He doesn't like- he doesn't like what you're doing. The onion- his onion sense of being is expiring before your very eyes. Wow, I'm killing this guy. Like, look at him. He regrets Remember, his, everything. He regrets yeah, his, every choice he's ever made. His entire life is being a fucking onion. And you're already making him sad. <laughs> Never thought I'd make an onion cry. I remember back when I had the full game, I read the instruction book, and they called this little quacking noise. They actually, like, gave it a little personification. They, like, called it the duck of bad rapping or something. Wow. I've actually never played Parappa 2. I, I played, um, Unjami, but I've never played, uh... Never played Parappa 2. I think Unjami um, was better. I didn't really like Parappa 2. Oh, I mean, how could you really beat a game that has you play a baby like a fucking guitar? Uh, you can't really. I love messing with all the, like, sound effects. Actually, I really like that they made a pretty much a Parappa 2 mode in Um Jammer Lammy where you now just, that like, was played. Cool. That was cool. That was, like, an inverted castle moment. <laughs> yeah, it's like you get to play the entire game again, but, like, they changed all the songs around yeah, they them. They changed like, the music crap, and everything, actually... and they gave it a story and new cutscenes. It's like, they didn't have to do any of that, but they did. Oh, hell no. Hell no. But they did, and it was great. There's, it doesn't have, I hope it has it on one of the later ones, but there's a demo for a racing game. Um, like some, some go-kart racer. What kind of? And, and not a go-kart racer, more like a, um, like, uh, what the fuck is it? Like a Formula One racer. Um, you're talking about, it, is it Wild something? No, I know what game that is. Um, that's like the furry one, right? Yeah, the, the furry one. Where you played as like a anthropomorphic, uh, like, kangaroo racing atop. Yeah, it's like racing, speed. but you're racing by running. Yeah. Basically Sonic R without any of the characters behind it. Yeah, and all of them looking very, uh, unsettlingly anthropomorphic. Yeah, it's not quite the appealing kind. It's like, no. like Spumco, almost. Yeah, yeah it is. No, this is just a straight up, like, cart, um, I keep saying cart, but it's like, um, uh, like, actual cart, like, not NASCAR, but, um, like the F1 cars, I think. Oh, whoa, you're starting me off here? Oh, you're dead. That was cheap. I think there's a way to lay down multiple ones and fire them off at the same time. So, like, the object but here is But it's been a while like... since I played this. Yeah, I only played the demo, I didn't play the full game. Oh, look for mm -hmm. Intelligent Cube in the Fall of 97 and put your IQ to the test. Christ, that's Actually, almost, let's see. Yeah, how far away is Almost that? 20 years old. Hmm. If a kid was born on the day this demo disc came out, they'd be able to vote and smoke. Oh, uh, view non-interactive preview. Well, I remember <sighs> when the biggest uh, scandal in gaming involved Laura Croft. Oh, every single gaming site I went on uh, that had, like, cheat codes on it in 1996. Every single one of them had about four banner, like, size ads boobs. that were, like, 
Click here to find the nude patch. Or the new the Tomb Raider nude cheat code. Right. And then one poor bastard actually did make a nude patch for the first Tomb Raider for PC. And a lot of people looked at that and were like, wow, this is really sad. Yeah, kind of. Because <laughs> you literally just like changed the shirt color to flash colored. Great demo. Christ, I was rewatching all the uh, George Wood, um, George Wood videos. It would be great if Laura Croft got breast cancer. <laughs> and you had to drive her in your car to, to give birth to a breast cancer and baby. She was pregnant with breast cancer. <laughs> oh man, he's not dead, is he? No, he's not. That was uh, that was some weird. That was a hoax, right? Yeah, yeah. some really. He's so weird. He's just this weirdo. I mean, weirdo. he's dead on the inside, but... <laughs> the it Flash would, is still alive. It would be great if the love of his life died. That would be compelling. And if Final Fantasy IX doesn't have voice acting, I'm gonna kill everybody and then myself. <laughs> okay, we've got... Hawk... Alana... Boy, what I don't is, remember this. What is wrong with you, Elena? There's Mace and Smasher. I I, I think we all know uh, where we gotta go from here. Yeah. Yeah. By core design. <sighs> Fucking Eidos, man. Are they still around? Like all the all the not um in kinda um. I mean, I think they pretty much just merged into Square now, and I mean, that's pretty much where the Tomb Raider went. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, give me my WEP 4. <laughs> Your 4 WEP. God damn, Man, you that got up sound that? effect. Stay oh shit, down. did 50 Cent train a couple of uh, train bodyguards? I just shot you with two rockets. Which did Don't about fuck as with much, Baldi. But that did about as much damage as two little kicks to the face. Took so two rockets and like... Like two hooks directly to the head. Okay, you got Web 16. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that tiny little... Oh my little... god, that's the tiniest... That's a cell phone. <laughs> hey, hey. Those were a lot bigger back then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the car alarm goes off. Yeah, meanwhile, like they're they're like bleeding out there. They're like, did something hit me? I didn't I didn't notice anything. Well, this, it says stop, but I'm not gonna stop. Smasher doesn't. Smasher, what are you doing? Just backhanded. <laughs> Smasher. <laughs> his head is so disproportionately tiny to the rest of his shoulders. It's so fucking funny. I don't know what kind of fighting style I'm using, but I'm. This is my backwards fighting technique. <laughs> uh, it's like they wanted to do like Hagar's like um, double lariat from Final Fight, but make it 3D, and it does not work at all. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Look at how tiny his fucking head is. I know. Look at that. Holy shit. Oh, can we get in the monster truck? Oh, no, he, he was about to go in the monster truck, and he saw me going for it. He knows better. Okay, so Alright, guessing... so that, did, that honestly did more damage than, like, four rockets to the head. <laughs> I can't believe they actually managed to knock you down. It's honestly like four men trying to fight like a silverback gorilla. Oh, come on. Didn't you see what I just did to your friends? No, we got it. We got this. Oh, see, they made you, they made you fall out of mid-jump. That's impressive. I'm surely I can grab one of these guys, right? What the heck? <laughs> Apparently oh I just my gosh. I just grabbed him. 
So when you jump, you can displace gravity. That's your real special move. Banger. These guys have weird names. Okay, that seems about right. His, like, bicep is literally bigger than his head.